If you're traveling to a foreign country, don't let the language intimidate you. Words only comprise 7 to 35% of human communication. The rest comes via body language. Gestures, posture, facial expressions, proximity, and touch. What you should be thinking about are local hand gestures. Many gestures that are innocuous or positive in one country can be insulting or obscene in another. So before you finish packing your bags, check these out. The middle finger. The most offensive gesture in America is flipping someone off, shooting the bird, giving them the finger. The gesture means screw you, bug off. You can make the sign calmly or you can angrily extend your arm toward the intended recipient, depending upon how upset you actually are. In the past, the gesture was a bit shocking to see. Not so much anymore. And as anyone living in America knows, you'll see an impressive or dismaying assortment of people using it, from prominent politicians to movie stars. The A-OK. -okay. Is everything all right? In America, you might respond to such a question by flashing the A-OK -okay sign. This gesture is also widely used in the diving world to both ask if a diver is fine and for the diver to respond back that she is. Don't make this gesture in Brazil, however, where it's akin to giving someone the finger. In Greece and Turkey, it's also seen as quite vulgar and insinuates the person to whom it's given is a homosexual. In some Middle Eastern countries, the A-OK -okay is the symbol for the evil eye. Perhaps the worst misuse of this sign in recent history was committed by then Vice President Richard Milhouse Nixon in the 1950s. The VP emerged from his plane in Brazil, made an A-OK -okay sign with each hand and enthusiastically wagged them to the assembled crowd. Not surprisingly, the people were astounded and infuriated at this double insult. The Fig It's such a fun game to play with babies and tots. Your thumb, of course, is supposedly the baby's nose. While this game is common in the United States, Australia, and Canada, it's never played in Turkey. In that country, the hand gesture, commonly known as the fig, is like calling someone an unprintable name. It's also insulting to people in Indonesia, Italy, India, China, and Russia. The gesture hails back to ancient times when the Romans used it to indicate sexual union. In a positive manner, that is, to wish someone good luck and fertility. It also was seen as a protective measure against the evil eye. The Romans called the gesture mano fico, or fig hand, as they felt the thumb and fist looked like a woman's private parts. Fica is Italian for fig and also slang for vulva. Romans equated figs with female fertility. The gesture is also the same used for the letter T in American Sign Language. Oops. The Crossed Fingers. When you want to wish someone good luck, you'll often tell them, I'll keep my fingers crossed that they'd get the promotion, or pregnant, or win the lottery. If you really want to wish someone good luck, you might tell them you'll cross all your fingers and your toes, too. That is, if you live in the United States, Canada, the UK, or Australia. If you happen to be a resident of Vietnam, however, you'll view cross fingers as a vulgar symbol for female genitalia. Even worse is if another person crosses his fingers just for or at you. Then it's an especially shocking and horrid offense. The Forearm Jerk Think of the European Forearm Jerk as the big brother of the American middle finger. 
Southern European males, including those in France, who call it the bras d'honneur, use the forearm jerk as a crude, phallic way to flip someone the bird. It can also indicate sentiments such as, I'm better than you are, get lost, loser, or up yours, buddy. The cutis. Primarily, primarily used in India and Pakistan, once you make the gesture, you then flick your thumb out of your mouth while crying out, Kata, which is screw you. This gesture is not only an insult to you, but to your entire family. Sort of like saying, you and your family all kind of suck. The thumbs up. As far as traveling gestures go, the thumbs up gets a thumbs down. In the US, it means something like, great, I like it, all right, or a. But in other places, it's offensive. In the Middle East, for example, it means up your butt, fella. Many Latin Americans find it offensive, as do citizens of West Africa, Greece, Russia, Sardinia, the south of Italy, Australia, the Philippines, and many Islamic nations. That's a lot of thumbs up haters. Scholars believe it originated in ancient Rome when crowds used the thumbs up sign to mean a gladiator should be speared or hid their thumbs if he should be spared. If you simply can't stop using this sign, know that you'll be all right in Germany and certain areas of Japan, where the thumbs up sign simply indicates the number one. Those are some of the commonly misunderstood obscene hand gestures, but not all of them. Before you head out on your next international adventure, be sure to learn the rest in our article on HowStuffWorks.com. Also, thanks to Alkaloid Networks for allowing us to desecrate your conference room. You're A-OK. -okay. Thumbs up. The butt. The butt. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what is the word for an adult who doesn't have dinosaur toys in their bedroom? Um. What was that? Monica knows. <laughs>